Why haven't we solved game botting? Are game companies just lazy? These most powerful titans of the industry? Or is there something else going on? You'd think that after decades of online gaming, that we'd have a better grip on stopping cheaters. Yet, here we are. But before you can understand why aimbotting still exists, we must first talk about how games handle security in the first place. You'll have a good understanding of not only why aimbotting still exists, but how the entire industry handles hacking in general. But to get there, we have to talk about two things. Server-side authentication and client-side authentication. Server-side authentication and client-side authentication just means how the game handles an event from the player. If the game uses client-side authentication, it means it trusts the data being sent from the player. And if it uses server-side authentication, that means it just checks all the data with the server. An example of this would be if the player wants to fire their gun. If the game is client-sided, the player will do a check to see if they meet the requirements. Things like if they have enough ammo, sure, but also things like if their character is even allowed to have that gun in the first place. Then they will tell the server that they fired their gun, so that the server can let everyone else know. On the other hand, if the game is server-sided, the player will ask to fire their gun, then the server will check if they meet the requirements, and only then tell everyone else that the player has fired their gun. You see, the key difference here is who does the check, the server or the client. So you may already be able to see the problem with client authentication. In order to play the game, the code has to be on your computer, which means someone who has the right software can edit that code. That means if the game uses client authentication, they could, for example, change the code so that they don't use up any ammo when they shoot. But if the game uses server-side authentication, all their code is responsible for doing is requesting that the shot happened. The server has all the code that makes sure they meet the requirements, so they can't cheat it. Okay, so we've established what client-side and server-side authentication is, and a few pros and cons of each. So now that you know that, why haven't games solved aimbotting? Or more precisely, why not just authenticate that the player's mouse movement is genuine? Which brings us to our next subject, input. So we've established that server-side authentication is more secure than client-side, which is why games like Overwatch, Rahala, Team Fortress 2, and many others use it. So if everything is checked by the server, how can a player cheat? Well, even though things like ammo, what gun you have equipped, and your inventory are all things that can be handled by the server, the one thing that is always dependent on the client is input. The server can't know whether or not the fact that you moved your mouse left to right was because you honestly did that, or if a program, say, aimbot software, was doing it for you. You see, the server can't know whether or not that movement is honestly coming from your mouse or from software, because software can trick the server into thinking that it's a mouse. So, off the top of your head, you may have already thought of a few potential solutions. Well, clearly, if someone is zipping their mouse around the screen nonstop, they're aimbotting. Right? But then what about people with high sensitivity? Okay, you may be thinking. Well, then what about if they spin nonstop? Spinbotting is a popular form of aimbot. But then what about people who may just be messing around? After all, speaking from personal experience, it does look funny when you do it. You may be starting to see the pattern. Every indicator we have to detect if a player is using aimbot could also affect normal players who aren't cheating. The problem with aimbotting is that because the server relies on the user to tell them where they're aiming, the server can't know if it's real or fake. And any check you put in place may result in innocent players getting banned just because they're moving their mouse in a way that isn't normal. And the last thing any company wants is to be accidentally banning innocent players. So server-side authentication is amazing. It was the solution we came up with very early on into multiplayer gaming. 
It lets us stop players from having infinite ammo, spawning items, and even from moving too fast. But input will always have to be trusted from the client. The server simply has no way of telling if their input is coming from a mouse or from cheat software. And that is why games still haven't solved aimbotting. Thanks for watching. This video took absolutely forever. I ordered the video camera, but it was delayed, then it arrived broken, so I had to reorder it. Then I had the flu for a week. Just, just a flu. Nothing quarantine. So yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the journey. So I hope you all appreciate the effort that went into making it. If you'd like to support me and the channel, links are in the description. And as a reward for sticking to the end, here's a blooper. God.